Good morning everybody, thanks for joining me today. It's a lovely, lovely sunny day and I have a few fun things to do. First of all, I'm going to be heading off to a midwife appointment shortly, taking my children and so hopefully they'll get to hear the baby's heartbeat for the first time. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping that I might be able to take a little bit of footage in the midwife's office. I'm not really sure what to call it, the midwife's room. So that would be nice if I can manage that. And then after that, I'm hoping to start sewing the dress that I'll be making to attend a wedding in a few weeks time. So I'm looking forward to that very much. And it's been a while since I've sewn anything for myself. So that will be, um, I guess, a bit of a treat. And yeah, I've got a few cuttings as well and some small banana trees that I was given yesterday which need to go in the ground. So I've got quite a variety of things to do today. Hopefully you'll enjoy coming along with me and seeing how it all turns out. I'm back, everything went well, and so pregnancy is tracking smoothly. But I am now all dressed up to do a spot of gardening. I'm about to do a little bit of pruning and trimming up of the cuttings I got. I don't have any rooting powder or any pot plants, uh, potting pots to put them in yet. So they're gonna have to just stay in water for another day or two. Um, but I am planning to use my remaining potting mix to um, put the bananas in something. So yeah, let's get on to that. These are the cuttings that I got yesterday and the banana trees. They're just sitting propped up against some toys here. But they are of such varying sizes that I'm just going to sort them out into some smaller containers over here and just sort them by size a bit more. sitting down with a smoothie. It's chocolate, strawberry, mango and banana so it tastes pretty good. Yeah I'm really pleased with how I got on in the garden this morning and I think I think I'm going to scrap the idea of doing the dressmaking today because um, if you all remember we're getting our bathroom renovated and even though we've got my brother here to continue with the job um, it's definitely not ready and so we are without a shower at the moment and so I thought well since I'm out in the garden getting hot and sweaty I might as well continue and then I'll try and do some dressmaking tomorrow. We now have Renda on the walls and don't mind the door just sitting there and a concrete floor as opposed to sand. So this is just gonna be tidied up and then we are waterproofing that whole area which is gonna be the shower. And probably some areas near the bath as well, I would imagine. So that's gonna to happen today. It will be super stinky, so I am out of here. We are back home again and I have just had a smoothie for lunch and I've come back to a very smelly house. But that is a good thing because that means our bathroom is progressing and the sealant has been painted on so our bathroom is now blue. This sealant or waterproofing has been painted on. We need to put another coat on before we can get on with the tiling. Well, I'm not going to be tiling but my brother will. And uh, so it's all good, it's coming together. Shouldn't have any problems with leaking walls anymore. 
but it really does smell so bad. It is burning my nostrils. It's a really strong kind of chemical smell. Um, so I'm just gonna go out in the garden and get some fresh air. I've just opened up the house as much as possible to try and let all the smell out. And um, once it's not so smelly, I'll go back inside and try and do some sewing. I've really got to get my dress started for this wedding we are going to be attending. Um, but while I'm out here, it's turned out to be a lovely afternoon, despite some rain we had around midday. Um, and my flowers have bloomed. I'm super excited. I planted these roses about a week or so ago and they are just looking lovely. This one is called Molino and it has just a gorgeous yellow bloom. Oh, the shadows. Oh, we got a bee. There we go. and it has a wonderful fragrance very sweet um, but yeah just delightful this bulb is starting to flower i don't even know what it's called but yeah it's starting to flower and then this one which is a claude monet is flowering as well it has a much lesser scent than the yellow molyneux but um the actual color is quite stunning so, and this one is getting some leaves which is lovely I always love fresh spring leaves they're so gorgeous I have just finished making the dress, um, all except the hem, and a few little um, bits of fabric to finish off on the inside. But this is my first try on the model after putting in the zip, and I really hope that it fits. Because if it fits the model, it should fit me. Let's give it a go. On, so it should fit. I am really frustrated though that this bit is not lining up. I um, I even stitched it and everything, so I really don't understand why why that's not lined up. I um, I did like a, I did it all properly. Okay, I might. I'm gonna try it on myself first before I fix this little problem. I'll probably unpick this and just slightly realign it and try again.
So those sewing segments that you would have just seen did not just happen in one day. I ended up spreading it over a week and so we've now finished with two days to spare before the wedding. So I'm very relieved that it's done and I've got something to wear on the weekend. I've got the dress sitting right next to me here and I'm about to try it on and so really excited and a bit nervous. I did try it on once throughout the process um, just to check after I'd done the zip that um, it was actually going to do up and I wouldn't have to start all over again but I hadn't finished the dress and the hem still needed doing and all that kind of stuff so this will be the first time to try it on fully finished. Let's see how it goes. Ta-da! What do you think? I am so excited about it. I am very happy with how it's worked out and um, I think it has a little bit of a 50s vibe but um, without being overly kind of costumey or anything and I've got just the perfect shoe to go with it. Just a moment. I have this pair of heels which I I think I've only worn to maybe one or two dates and possibly to church, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but they are gorgeous and I definitely think they deserve another trip out. So I'll just pop them on and then we'll see how it looks with the whole outfit. How does that look? They are a bit high, so I don't think I will wear them for the whole day, but I think I'll definitely give them a go for the ceremony. I think we'll be sitting down at the ceremony but if not it probably won't be a very long one anyway so these should be fine but in the evening since we have a stand-up reception, cocktail reception, um, I think I'll want something a little bit more doable, a bit more sensible especially as I'm expecting and I'm more likely to I suppose hurt my back or something like that so I think I will just go for something a little bit lower in the evening Maybe. So I think these ones might do the trick. They do still go with the pattern, I think. There is some tan colour that you can kind of draw out. And so I think I'll just I'll just switch my shoes out and we'll see what that looks like. There we go. I think my feet are very much blending into the floor, so hopefully you can see that properly. But um yeah, these ones are definitely still like put together, classy, but um, thankfully not as high and I think I will be much more comfortable in them for the evening reception. So yeah, I think these will do the trick very nicely. I totally didn't plan this actually. I didn't pick this dress to go with the shoes I already had, but yeah, it's just worked out beautifully. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage or photos at the wedding, except this one here, where I'm wearing a coat over the top. So that was a bit disappointing, but I've got one here on the model where you can see it in full size and hopefully see some more of the detail not being blurry like the other segments. I'm so sorry about that. But that's all from me for today. And so thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this vlog isn't one of my best, but it had just too many things in it that I couldn't skip out. But I will do better next time and I will see you then. Thank you so much. Bye.